Deborah Pibos for M Live, and I am here at 2023 North American International Auto Show here at TCF Center in Detroit. We're going to give you a tour. It literally opened like a half hour ago to the media, media from all over the world. It opens on Saturday to the public. We're here at Ford. We're going to go to GM. We're going to go everywhere. We're going to take you around, show you all the cars. It's awesome. So let's take you on a little tour. Grab the camera from you. Thank you so much. And we're starting right here at Ford. This they unveiled last night. This is getting a lot of attention. This is the Ford F-150 Lightning. Which ranges from about fifty dollars to $90,000. So they unveiled this last night. Darius Rucker was performing. So again, the auto show, the North American International Auto Show. There are members of the press here from all over the world. The event opens on Saturday. The public runs through the 26th. So we're starting here at Ford, which has one of the biggest displays here at the auto show. And we're gonna check out some of the EVs from Chevrolet. Cause I saw the new Equinox EV, which looked really cool. So here again, this is the Ford area of the showroom which is probably the biggest area of all the automakers that are here. This is the Ford Mustang Mach-E Rally. Same car right there, different color, Mustang. So again, this is, event is known to, for having concept cars, there are a lot more automakers here than last year. This is the Bronco. I really want to make my way over to GM real quick. Excuse me, Chevrolet. Well, same thing, GM, Chevrolet, because I want to show you the EVs that they are showcasing. In particular, the popular Equinox. There it is, right there. Equinox EV. It says it gets 300 miles, I was going to say to the gallon, <laughs> to the charge. Range of about 300. And that'd be pretty good. There you go. You can even take a look inside, like what this gentleman's doing. So there you go. If you ever driven an Equinox, it looks just like the Equinox on the inside there. All electric. And look, we have the all electric Blazer. There you go. The all electric Blazer. So EVs are the name of the game here from Chevrolet. How you doing? Good. So this says it can go it's available in a 320 mile range. Like that would be impressive. That's yeah, impressive. That's the highest would be RS. Okay, so the RS version. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So wow, this this would come out next year, 2024. What about the Equinox? Do you know when that would come out? Oh, this is coming out in the fall. So the Blazer is coming out this year. The EV Blazer coming out this year, folks. 2LT and RS are available in summer. And then the 1LT would be available by the quarter one of 2024. Okay. Now, the Equinox. So the future is now for these Chevrolet EVs with the Blazer. And uh, he's checking on the Equinox. I'm curious when that comes out. Um, and it's in production right now. Uh, the 2RS is available in fall, but the 1LT is available right now. 1LT is available right now? Oh, and then uh, another model is available in the fall. So there you go. You can go to the dealer and, and get a, a, an all-electric Equinox. Very cool. Thank you. And, of course, the Blazer. So here we are. This is the GMC Chevrolet area. We're at the North American International Auto Show, which opens to the public on Saturday and runs through the 26th. This is the media preview event. And I'm just seeing this for the first time as well. 
Chevrolet Traverse. This might be electric too. I don't know. They're just everything is is just electric, electric, electric. I don't think that is though. So GMC Buick, huge area here too. Volkswagen, Honda over there. Toyota is to my right. Um, there are test tracks in here. Oh, look at this bad boy. Oh my goodness. This is the Chevrolet E-Ray, the quickest Corvette ever. It says 2.5 seconds, zero to 60. Yep. So if anybody wins the lotto and says, hey, I really like you, Ed Pivos for MLive, this is the one car out of all the cars here I would like to get. So, And look, you can go in, in it right here, into this version, Corvette E-Ray. Oh my goodness. This guy's just riding, riding high. Oh, how beautiful that car is. How is it in there? Comfortable? Oh yeah, it's a little low. It is a little low, isn't it? Yeah. No. Huh. I wonder if it the seat goes down a little bit or something. Huh. Okay. So you might have to be really short to get in this car. I don't know. Interesting. But look at that, it's just beautiful. So glad I made my way to the Corvettes. So again, the North American International Auto Show opens to the public Saturday. The Auto Prom, as we call it, the charity preview is Friday night. So everybody will be in black tie. There will be celebrities here. Uh, I believe Jennifer Hudson is performing along with Shaggy on Friday night. How cool is that? There might even be tickets still available to that. I did not check because they are hundreds of dollars, but they all go to charity. So we are at, oh, Tesla. Let's go to Tesla. I do not remember Tesla being here last year. I think they were. I can't remember. All right, so we just saw Chevrolet EVs. Now we are at Tesla. Oh, look, they're testing. Wow, those cars were going fast there. They're testing electric cars here and stuff. So where is says Tesla, but I don't see their display. I just see like a test track here. Let me ask. So are they just testing or you can get in a Tesla vehicle, electric vehicle and yeah, ride in it? Is that what's going yeah, on here? Ride in whichever one you want. We have oh, okay. Okay, cool. So you can come to the auto show and take a ride in various Teslas and then you'll see how they perform and if you've never been in an electric vehicle. Okay, very cool. And that's what people are doing. So literally, I could just get in the passenger seat of one of these Teslas? You need to go grab a wristband from the white container, and then you can find Oh, okay. Cool, so that's how easy it is. And they're just waiting for uh, people to uh, go in the Teslas and ride around the track. And look, they're flying down there. So they are showing you how, how fast it goes. Well, let me get a brace. You guys want me to go in a Tesla? I want to go in a Tesla. I've never been in a Tesla. I'm live. How long would it take me to get a bracelet and go in a Tesla real quick? Um, so we're Volkswagen. Oh, you're Volkswagen. I'm sorry. See, I'm not looking. Oh, it's right over there. I'll have to stop by Volkswagen later. Thank you. Okay. I'm glad they put Volkswagen right next to Tesla. Okay. Well, I'll just keep walking around and show you because if I get in the car, it could be a while. But that is cool. So there is, oh, it's a Volkswagen. Okay. This is where all the automakers are able to have people go in their cars and test them. Okay. There's Honda. More Chevrolet there. So again, if you're just joining us at the beginning of the video, we checked out the new Ford F-150 that was unveiled last night. We checked out Chevrolet Equinox EV and the Blazer EV. And some of those vehicles are already in showrooms, by the way. It's crazy. So not only will you see concept cars here, but you're going to see cars that are already out. 
or coming out shortly, they said, fall or spring. So now we are at the Chevrolet trucks. And there's Toyota right up there. So we'll check out Toyota. Huge display from Toyota as well. So again, this just opened up to the media a short time ago. And uh, the event opens to the public on Saturday with the Auto Prom on Friday. All right. So this is the 2024 Prius Prime. 2024 Prius Prime. See, so you can kind of open the trunk, you can get in the car. And there you go. What I haven't seen are really any concept cars. It's kind of unusual. Usually you see futuristic cars. I know there's flying cars. There were last year. This space is so big, it's hard to find everything. I'm just kind of stumbling upon it as I walk around and show you guys. So this is uh, starts at 23155. This is the Cor Cor ugh, the Toyota Corolla hatchback. So that is a very economically priced vehicle. Kind of care what the gas mileage is, 33, so 30 and 38. Starts at 35.9, or this model anyway is. This is another Corolla, different version. So again, we're at the Toyota area. Ford has a huge area. Toyota has a huge area. GM, Chevrolet, Buick. So this uh, is the. What is this? The Toyota. Camry Hybrid, 46 miles to the gallon for the hybrid, starting at 28 grand, almost 29 grand. So there you go, so you can check that out. What else do we have here? This looks like a minivan. Every door is open. Go to the other side and see what this is. We've got the Toyota Sienna. It gets 35 miles to the gallon. It starts at 36 grand. It's a really good gas mileage for a uh, kind of a, a van, a minivan. So this kind of looks like the Chevy Blazer. Obviously, it's a Toyota. the Highlander. Again, good gas mileage at 35 on the average. And then the, the, the Tacoma. And as you see, Ford is right across the street here. <laughs> uh, next to this is Dodge. Kia as well. So here's Kia. So, ton of models from Kia. And by the way, this is the stage where they do presentations, unveilings, announcements, things like that. So you guys can kind of see how the setup is here at the auto show. And everybody in here is a journalist from around the world. There are Literally journalists here from tons of countries all over the world. I don't know what this is, but I got to check it out. <laughs> Looks like Steve Urkel's car. Remember Steve Urkel's car? This is a Fiat 500F. <laughs> and it's like it's got room for four passengers. I don't know how, but it does. 
since it's got a back seat with two spots. <laughs> Come on. Wow. And this is pretty small too, but not as small. Fiat 500E. Wow. So we're at, coming up to Dodge here. There's the Dodge Rams. And look, in the back there, you can kind of see that little test track there. So that's one of the things you can do the auto show. You can get in some of the EVs, take a test ride, take a test ride in some of these uh, trucks. And they really put them to the test there. Uh, see, this one's about to go over some logs here. I'm guessing that one's going on its side over there. So, the, yep, here we go. So they're really testing and showing you the... Uh, that uh kevin kevin i don't know what was moved to novi but this is uh <laughs> this is the north american international auto show in detroit which has been in detroit for decades they have moved it to the summer it used to be in the winter last year they moved it to the summer And so, yeah, so people are really test uh, test riding, not driving. You're not going to drive these. You're going to test ride. So when you come here, you can really do that here with Dodge, the Rams, the trucks here. Again, next to Fiat is Dodge. So, again, this opens Saturday to the public. And it runs through the 26th every day. I would more recommend if you can come on a weekday because if you come on Saturday or Sunday it's gonna be really busy but the area is huge I mean it's not even open to the public and you can see how many people are here uh, and see kind of how it is with thousands of journalists I mean it's not packed or anything and it's pretty comfortable to walk around they did I mean they built everything all the carpet is new right every year they do that brand new carpeting and they really construct this place because I have been inside of here when there are other events and it looks completely different. Everything is just, they spend weeks building this. All the displays. This is Jeep. Uh, let's take a look at some Jeeps. So again, what I haven't seen are concept cars from any automaker. I've seen mostly cars that are out now or coming out. Here's the Rubicon. Nice. Wrangler Rubicon. Beautiful. Yep. Really cool. So if you want a Jeep Rubicon, there you go. Uh, we have more Jeeps. Every Jeep model in the world, right here. So that's what the auto show kind of is. It's kind of a showroom of every automaker not every automaker, but two or three dozen are here this year. I think there's like around 30. More than last year. So the Compass is behind me. This is the Renegade. Jeep Renegade. And then I'll show you the Compass at the same time right there in blue. And then the Grand Cherokee right here. So cool. So... If you come here, there's Ford, and Jeep is right next to it. You have Kia right by it. You have Dodge right by it. As you can see, and then the, the Dodge Ram, the track over there as we were just over. Uh, we've seen Tesla. We've seen Chevrolet, the EVs. We've seen Ford, the new F-150 that they unveiled last night. There's the Broncos. So uh, we've seen quite a bit of the showroom here. There's uh, BMW, Tesla, Volkswagen, EVs, tons of EVs here, folks. And this is a TCF Center, formerly Kobo Center, downtown Detroit. Been here for decades. It's moved to the summer, if you did not know that. They wanted to move it to the summer years ago, and they 
believe last year was the first year because COVID, I think they had to cancel. It's so hard to remember. Time flies by. And they wanted to move it to the summer. People come from all over the world. They wanted to do outdoor activities. There are some things outdoors. Like last night, Ford had a big party to unveil their F-150. They had Darius Rucker there. This is a uh, Tremor. I like the name Tremor. I'm still looking for my first concept car from any automaker. This is very strange to me. Every year I always see the futuristic looking... This might be a concept. I don't know. It's beautiful, whatever it is. It's like a Mustang, but it doesn't say. It must be, because behind me is a Mustang, which I've already looked at. So again, this is the uh, Mustang Maki Rally. Gorgeous. So there you go. I'll end this with, we'll go to the uh, Broncos here, and then we'll go back to the Chevrolet, the EVs. Chevrolet is really promoting their EVs this year. And it's not even the future. It's literally now. You can get the Equinox. You can go to the showroom right now and get the Equinox. Uh, the Blazer comes out soon as well. That's an EV. Beautiful truck right here. Chevrolet, ZR2, Bison. Of course, tons of activities here. Star in your own comic strip adventure, whatever that is. And here's the Equinox EV. It says it gets, uh, one of the models gets up to 300 miles to the charge. And then there's the Blazer EV. So there you go. Uh, there's a taste, and there's Buick over there, GMC. There's a taste of the North American International Auto Show. We'll end it on this swanky display over here. Oh, let me look at the Silverado real quick. Oh, yeah. Chevrolet Silverado. Again, it's open Saturday to the public. Runs through the 26th, and we'll end this over here with this beautiful swanky display. This is the Utilis. I, I, I'm not gonna lie, I do not know what automaker this is. <laughs> I'm looking at the logo and I feel like I don't know what automaker that is. Maybe the back of the vehicle will show me here. Oh, it's Lincoln. Oh geez, of course. <laughs> you can tell I've never been in a Lincoln showroom, but Lincolns are beautiful, luxury model. Nautilus, excuse me, what did I, beautiful car, hello, Corsair, I know the Corsair, I've heard of that, Lincoln Corsair, this must be, is this an EV, because it says it gets 78 miles to the gallon, It's hybrid, electricity and gas. So this is a Corsair. It is a hybrid. Huh. I wonder what the price is on that. Did I just miss that? Lincoln Corsair hybrid. Doesn't say the price. Okay. And then last, we'll check out the Nautilus. That's the one that we just saw on display there. Sorry, excuse me. All right, the beautiful Nautilus. I wonder if this has a price on it, Lincoln Nautilus. 2024, okay, starting at 50. Starting at 50. Wow, it's beautiful. And you can get in the car. So there you go, uh, folks. Lincoln, Ford, Chevrolet, Buick. So all the American automakers are kind of in the front. You have Tesla, Volkswagen, 
We saw Dodge. We saw Toyota. We saw test tracks. We saw EVs. We saw trucks. We saw a lot of stuff. So gave you a nice little taste of the auto show. North American International Auto Show, which opens the public on Saturday, runs through the 26th. Charity preview is Friday. Jennifer Hudson and Shaggy will be performing. Looks like Sirius XM right there, by the way, doing a live broadcast. So you never know what you're going to see while you're here. And if you need any information on the cars, you have people that will be standing right next to them that can tell you about, for instance, the Nautilus. So you can ask them. And there you go. Hope you guys have enjoyed a taste of the North American International Auto Show. Thank you for watching. You can watch this video back from the beginning in just a few minutes. And uh, I'm Edward Pivos for M Live, the North American International Auto Show at TCF Center downtown. Opens Saturday.